All right, today is July the 7th. It's a Tuesday. It's 9.06 a.m. I'm doing this before my store opens. And I want to go to our store site that was built um, by Eclipse Web Media and just kind of peruse around and see how user-friendly it is. So, uh, let's see. Go ahead and pull that up. And I'm pulling it up through Google Chrome, which was the, which was the, what we were told was the best thing to use. Um, we used to use Mozilla Firefox, which I really like, but now we're on Google Chrome, and it is a tad bit slow, but oh well. All right, here's our website. Here's the front of it. Um, very nice. It's actually a pretty website, in all honesty, but um, here's a few things that have not been corrected that I did ask. There's um, our logo, our Aardvark Antiques logo, and it's, it's, it's very small, and I asked for it to be made bold and bigger, just to stand out more, and that hasn't been done yet, and this was, all this stuff has been over a week ago that I've asked for changes, um, and the website uh, still. Now, I did send them an email um, because the, about this as well, because the categories were really messed up. They had stuff that was repetitive and weird web uh, categories. It was just very, um, it was very strange and it was just too much. It was overkill. So I did send them something, which I don't know why it says antiques and estate items like that. I didn't, I sent them an actual diagram with the tree or categories showing exactly how I wanted them titled, the subcategories and the category, everything. I, I basically um, spelled it out for them by doing it, typing it up, and sending it as, a, as an attachment so that it could, and I did talk to someone there and tell them that um, I did not want anything changed on it. I didn't want anything added. I didn't want anything to say new, say floor sample. Um, and so, yeah, they did make an attempt to change. They just did not follow exactly as I asked them to. And I do notice here, that's gone. There was a weird thing there that was something that the client should not have seen. Now, I'm on the front of the website as if I were a customer. That's one thing so that um, we can see what the clients see. But there was something here at one time, sample caption text, wallet stuff, and it was on the site when they actually said that it was ready to launch. And um, we asked them to take it off, which they didn't immediately. It took them a little while. In fact, they just took it off, I think, like last week. Um, and the site's been up for a few weeks now. Um, so anyway, let's go into the categories. All right, we are on the home page. I'll click home again just so you see that we are on the home page. Now I'm going to click antiques and estate items, which I don't know why it has it listed this way, but anyway. Um, and it has like by the rooms. So, bedroom, it has Almar's bed, da da da. Okay, living room. Where is the rest of my stuff for living room that I actually typed up and put in there? Like sofa, you know, side tables, things like that. None of that's there. Now, like I said, I did send an email with an attachment with everything typed up exactly as I wanted it. Instead of just doing it verbally, I actually sent something that they could see visually so that there would be absolutely no question, no misunderstanding. And, of course, even that was not followed. Um, okay, so um, let's see. Services. Now, we can go here, and I do see that it's, you know, it's with services. The antique appraisal services comes up. Now, here's the problem with this. Um, they've got the information about the antique appraisal, but there are absolutely no pictures. And there were supposed to be pictures to go along with this. Those weren't put in like they were supposed to. And that was something that was um, discussed and was um, told that we wanted was pictures in there. Charles discussed that with them. And I also noticed this. Okay, you see up here in the title, I've highlighted it. Now, when I take the highlight off, do you notice that the words, the tops of the words in An Atlanta Antique Appraisal Services... The tops of some of the letters are um, hidden behind this little uh, graphic here. All right, so, but it does say, now, just to be positive, 
It does come up when I click Antique Appraisal and tell about our services. It just doesn't have the pictures that we told them we wanted in there. Estate Sale Services. Click on that. It comes up with the same thing. We have the same issue with the letters getting lost and the same thing with no pictures, which we ask for. Now, with Consignment Furniture, um, Consignment Services, for some odd reason, this comes up. This shouldn't come up. We're under services. So why am I seeing this? the consigned furniture. That should not be under services. That's not what we asked for. And if that's what they think we meant by pictures, no. That's not what we meant. And I'm sure they, I, I don't even know what they thought because apparently they weren't thinking like that because they didn't put pictures in the other things we asked. Now consignment services, let me click on just that. It comes up, very good. We get eyeballs on your Atlanta consignments. What the heck does that mean? We get eyeballs on your Atlantic consignments. Um, yeah. <sighs> anyway, I won't even go into that. That's just a hot mess. But there's still no pictures here. Um, about our appraiser. Okay, let's go to that. About our appraiser. Well, it tells about our appraiser. has one picture, one old picture of him sitting on the table, and then a picture of him skydiving. Okay, here's the thing. There should be pictures of him that were given of him doing like the antique roadhouse and things like that. Things that show him actually doing the job that they would ask. Nobody, the, the skydiving thing is cool, but that's a very, that's not a important thing when selling antiques. So that should have been something that wasn't highlighted as much. This seems to be more highlighted. There's two pictures of him skydiving, one of him standing on a piece of furniture. I don't get it. So this is totally wrong. Um, 